I'm Mickey Colton. And I'm Chad Dillon. And this, this is the Utica, Utica Rally Cross Series. Coming at you live for your 19th race here at the Pacific Oil Rig. Now, you're probably wondering what the Pacific Oil Rig is. I'm wondering as well. It's an abandoned oil rig that yeah. is currently in the middle of the Pacific Ocean that we have converted into a racetrack. That seems very dangerous. It is very dangerous and includes one of the longest drops in the Utica Rally Cross here that you'll possible, see at possible the end. Possible death could happen. Yes, <laughs> possible death could happen. And we are eagerly awaiting it. Yes. Now, the first driver up for this event is Chris Aurelio, car number 20, the Mighty Mighty Tiger. Yes, the Mighty Mighty Tiger here. Now, I'm not sure, is he eligible for the championship still, or is it too He late? is eligible for the championship, but he's got to have a good run today, and he's got to beat Adam Dunlap. Yes, exactly. Dunlap yeah. has to have a bad finish, or else there's a chance he might actually win it today. Yeah, exactly. He's too far ahead of points. And wow, Chris Aurelio really cutting it close around there, but it kind of slowed him down. Can he make the final jump? Now, here is that drop, oh. and... No! What? The car has flipped oh. over! So close for Chris Aurelio, and I think that might end his championship chances already. Yep. So next up, Cassandra Renzi, car number 22. Having a great uh, last couple races. I mean, she came into here, and she really started, came out with a bang. I mean, she really knows how to drive a race car. Yeah, Renzi, uh, quite the road racer. Um, if only she was in the series a little early, she might have had a shot at this championship. Exactly. I mean, she's got a lot of potential. She's been very consistent in the past couple races. I mean, she's been top five in both times. And whoa, a lot of speed. Here we go, speed. coming to the line. Can she make it? And yeah! she's got a 24-30. She's on top of the charts and might be able to take that win today if other people have problems. Exactly. Now we have Thomas Beatty here. Now, it's Mick Beatty in the house. Now, Mick Beatty cannot win the championship, but he has made an, a giant impression really making those Algo fans really shut their mouth and say, I'm BD and I'm here to stay. And oh, oh no! no! It looks like a very Ogo-like move as he's going to plummet off this oh, building. Oh, oh, and into the water. They're going to have to fish him out there. Let's hope that he's all right. I hope so, too. As, uh, next up, we have Richard Johnson, the shaft oh, on he'll, track. He'll have no problem making that jump. I mean, his... His elongatedness will really hit that drop really nicely. Yeah, he should be able to clear the distance. Yeah, exactly. The shaft will clear the distance. and he's Now, gonna... he muscles his way through all of these portals. Yep. And uh, works his way toward the finish line. Oh, makes oh, the long oh. stretch. And he does wow. it. 2353, he's on top. <laughs> Next up, James Silverfox, car number 24. <laughs> now, James Silverfox, having <laughs> kind of a... Uh, what are you laughing? You're throwing off... James Silverfox is trying to drive. Oh, 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 oh. Trying is the key word. Wait, hey, he oh! saves it! He's got to get to the checkpoint up above there, though. It's really going to slow him down, but if yeah, he but does make it... My God, that, that save. Whoa! Oh! Man, James Silverfox Wait, where is he scaring going? us. Oh, he's he's got to hit that checkpoint, too. If oh, he turns oh, it around... Oh. Can he keep going? This is going to be a slow time, by the way. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, but as long as he finishes, that's great. I mean, there's going to be a lot of DNFs and feeling. There's a lot of potential to fall off. But is he going to make it? And coming to the oh, line, he, he does. does. He a does. 41.04. So third on the board, despite a uh, not-so-excellent run. Next up, Alex DeMarco from Monster Madness Racing. Monster Madness Racing. Monster Madness. <laughs> if only it was motorsports, it would be triple M's. Oh, but yeah. uh, Alex DeMarco, a great road racer. Trying his best here today. Can't win the championship, but trying to get a good position for next season. Exactly. Perhaps. Alex Marco came into the season a little, you know, not in the beginning, but he really did a good job. I mean, he's been very consistent in his placement. A 24 28, a very good Not too good bad. Time. Second on the charts. Yeah. Good job. Now it's the driver that everyone's going to watch out for, right. Adam Dunlap. Let's, let's just let's focus here. All right, he's got a nice good turn here on the first checkpoint here. Now he's going to the second checkpoint. Very, very smooth that. Third like, checkpoint. Oh, oh. Now he's got to watch out here. This is a high wreck zone. As that is an Ooh. oddly placed check. Point. That was actually very good. He had a lot of momentum. As long as he doesn't hit. This is looking pretty fast. Oh, Coming oh, to the oh. line. Can he do it? He does. A 22 wow. He's on top of the charts, much to the chagrin of everyone else. But he is up early. There's still a chance to beat him. And Daniel Voyles could be that driver. No, he already hit the <laughs> corner of the yeah. first checkpoint there. Daniel Voyles, uh not having the best rallycross series career, but uh, actually not having a good season in the uh, Utica Home Track Series as well. He, he's won the Royal Rumble, but has completely dropped off since then. Exactly, and you know, I'm Daniel Boyles, I do like Daniel Boyles. I mean, he's got he's a lot of he's very very he's got a lot of passion. But 25-73. Yeah, it's not, gonna be pretty slow. Yeah, Fifth place slow. overall, but still early. Next up, John Lasco. Let's go, Lasco. John Lasco is currently going to the next checkpoint. This is why we let you make the beats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
be just sad because I was a percussionist. Exactly. But uh, John, let's go. Coming to the line. Oh, a very quick circuit. 22 wow. 97. Did not oh. get it. Missed it by just a small amount. So right. Lasko unable to dislodge him. Now we have the dark horse here. The dark horse or dork horse, Matt Dole. I mean, he still has the possibility to win the championship, doesn't he? Um, he, he has to be Adam yeah, Dunlap. He does, exactly. He has to take the top spot, and, and a bunch of people have to take the top spot in order for him to even be close enough to make it the championship. Now here we go, Matt Duel. And no, oh. a 23-83. There might still be a chance, but uh, it's looking kind of slim. Yeah, it's pretty slim. Next up, Alex May, car number 23, on um, part of the Seth Cole posse. Alex May has been doing very well. I mean, it's a very fun driver to watch. And hopefully to dethrone Adam Dunlap, everyone today is really on the, you know, in the strike to really dethrone him because he's been so far ahead, it's kind of been frustrating for a lot of the drivers because it's like, oh, there's no more hope, you know what I mean? Yep, and Alex May gets a 23-14, not a bad time at all, no. third place overall, but not going to dislodge him from the top spot. Next up, William Duncan, car number 18, who was eliminated from championship contention last week. Exactly, but again, he's still really competing, he's still having fun with because Rally cross, you could not win. You could not. Oh no! Oh. He makes some contact with the checkpoint. It looks like it's over there. Exactly, and you cannot. And oh, oh, more trouble! Oh, 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 he's on the edge. Can he get back on? I Can he get know. that tire to grip? Oh, oh no, he's in a bad spot now. Oh. And that car's gonna make the several oh. story. Oh, oh my God! Oh! oh. And uh, William Duncan, we're gonna have to hope the best for him as uh, we send the medical crew out there. No word on Thomas Beatty yet. Um, John Cittadino is up. We can ignore this. This is probably going to end terribly anyways. <laughs> yeah? I just didn't want to say anything there. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I just had no words. Yeah, no words for John Cena. But Actually, he's tracking pretty well. This could nope. be a fast time. Nope, it stopped. Nope. And and no oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Am I surprised? No. <laughs> oh, no. What a loser. <laughs> Next up, Nick Pericles, car number six, is back. Nick Pericles is back after Skylar Dixon's um, tenure in the number six machine. Skylar Dixon, yeah, really, really set in the stone. I mean, he, he really showed that he could stay in this series, and it gave Nick Pericles, like, hmm, he's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, he was, um, Skylar Dixon was a development driver um, for the Oil Racing team. He got the Utica Home Check Series ride, and he got, oh! probably has one here. 23. 16, great time for Nick Pericles in his return, but not going to I have to say, though, I have a feeling, this, I, I have the impression, to me, Skylar Dixon seemed like the better driver between the two. I don't know why I think that. I can see that, too. They, If you look at the Utica Home Track Series stats, though, Skylar Dixon has missed a lot of races. Um, He has a higher performance. Oh, and Chris, Chris Washer! No! Oh, and he's going to go oh. off DN after him. Luckily, he had the water to cushion yeah, the blow. Exactly. Um, next up is Colin Bartell. Um, he's another championship competitor, Ooh. and he lost it <laughs> already. <laughs> and and it's, gone. it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> but I want to talk a little bit about Chris Washer for a second, um, who didn't get much of a chance. Um, you know how you picked Jake Williams earlier in the year to win this championship? Yeah. Well, they calculated with Chris Washer driving the car if the 10 car would still be in contention for the championship, and it would not be. It would, it not would have fallen well. back because Chris Washer, not as strong of a performance. Oh, Colin oh. Bartel, oh, 26, 17. I like 17. the flip, though. I like that. Yeah, interesting flip, but not going to win any championship. No. Seth Cole, the stuntman on track, he's going to like it here. Oh, he's going to love this jump. <laughs> all, all I'm feeling now, he's going to hit that jump, and I'm going to look like he didn't black pull. He's just going to scream out that the wee of joy, man. Yeah, I mean, he's been he's been waiting for oh, this oh, jump. It's going to lose him the race already, but he's not going for a championship. He doesn't really care about it. Oh, oh, no. oh. Wait, he's going to back up. Wait. No, he's no, not. Wait. He's going to try it. He's not going to... No, wait. wait he knows he's, he's not fast enough. He's he knows he's already up. lost it. He wants to go for the jump. Oh, no. He's charging up here. Yeah, here Hold we on. go. Let's listen for the Wii. That's cool. And... Oh, oh, he landed on top oh, of it. But... Will he finish the race? Oh, no! No! <laughs> but Seth Cole, I think Seth Cole had fun nonetheless. Yes, he did. He's just out here for a good time. Not a top five finish for him. <laughs> and man, I love Seth Cole. Next up is Joseph Anesto here. I mean, a lot of these drivers, they know they're not going to win the championship. It's basically here for fun now. Yeah, I mean, the Rally Quest series is pretty fun. It is. That's what I was trying to say earlier. I mean, even if you're not in high in points in this series, it's still fun to come out every week. As long as you don't have a ride, it knows you. Joseph and Esso having a very good run here. Can he just throw an Adam Dunlap? 22 96. Oh! It just missed it again. Look at how close they are. I, exactly. Now it's time for Michael Laredo, Connor um, 15. 
I believe I forget exactly where his standings are. If he's either no. he's either on the border or he's no. I think last week he was just taking. Oh out yeah, of yeah. I remember now. Yep. Yeah. So Mike Loredo just in it for the sport. His brother has also basically lost his championship as he's way too far down the grid with ba- that DNF. Basically, all we have to look and, for. Oh, oh no! Too fast going toward the jump, and that car is going to DNF. Unfortunate for Michael Aurelio. Next up, Stephen Carr from Musical Motorsports now. Stephen Carter, again, one of those drivers, kind of like Jake Williams, is very good for, like, a rookie. I mean, he's he's got a lot of potential. I mean, I'm hoping, ho- I'm hoping next next season he comes back. Yeah, Stephen Carter definitely. Whoa, uh, what a like, Oh, man, great job by Stephen Carter. This young man has a lot of talent. Oh. I see a lot of racing in his future. Unfortunately, that turn, not so great. He's not going to win this race, but hopefully he can get the finish. Whoa. Yeah, oh. he does. Just barely lands on that platform. 2906. Could have gone a little better for him, but he still has Dead Man's Curve. Next up, the endurance driver, Anthony McCurry for Kyotech. Yeah, Anthony McCurry. Now, I, I mean, I don't have much to say about these drivers. All I know is that th- this entire season, they've all put up a great fight, really trying to get a lot. Uh, we're all Basically, all these drivers are really preparing for is Dead Man's Curve. Dead yeah. Man's Curve is a very, very, very high profile event. Yeah, it's it's very hard, very difficult in these drivers. To yeah, I think for it. it being the longest track, McCurry would do well there. 23-64, not the best time, but uh, I would like to see a lot of improvement out of this driver. Exactly. Now, Dylan Young, he may be too young. And it seems so this season. This season's been kind of up and down. He's seen victory lane at Blackpool, but he's also seen a lot of hardship. A lot of time being the first car out on track. But this is actually tracking pretty well. Yeah, he's got a lot of speed. As long as he hit this turn, he might actually dethrone Adam Dunlap. This is looking good. Coming oh. to the line. He does. 71. He does it. And with huge margin over Adam Dunlap, the great job by Dylan Young. Next now up. that's going to be difficult with only three drivers to left. Next up is Ray Takeda. Yep, this is her last start of yeah. the season. Um, not a good showing in her hometown of Japan. No. Well, not hometown, but home track of Japan. Yeah. Um... Ray she, Tag- she lives on the racetrack. Yeah, <laughs> Ray Takeda um, going around wow. for the final time this season before Ooh. Emil Michaels gets back in. A 23.56, not a bad, uh, not, bad. not a bad exit. Now it's time for the Black, Black Mamba. Mamba. He's a driver that needs to beat Adam Dunlap. Yes, same with Tyler Benoit. They both need to do well. If, if Matt can get ahead of him, if Tyler can get ahead of him, that will really help them in the point standings. Here we go. The Ooh. Mamba. Oh, oh no, oh, that's going gone. to throw it off and. This might be the end for Matt Evans. So, Tyler Benoit, who's the last driver on track, is the last hope to dethrone Adam Dunlap. Can he do it? He needs needs to beat Adam Dunlap by at least one position. All right, let's just watch this here. He's doing very well. He hasn't hit anything yet. Can he do it? It's coming up close. Now, this is a tough turn. Oh, Oh, I'm not sure. It's going to be close. This turn's good. The turn is good. Coming oh. to the line. Can he do it? Vision oh. 2298 doesn't do it. No. And Dylan Young is going to be the winner here in the Pacific Oil Rig. This will be his second career victory. Exactly. So yeah. not, not too bad considering that he has two wins here, something he hasn't been able to do in the Utica Home Track Series. He's followed by Adam Dunlap with a great finish in second. Joseph Anesto had having a great run. John Lasco, Todd Benoit came up short. Exactly. Followed by Alex May. Nick Pericles, great job for his return. Um, Richard Johnson in 8th place, Ray Tacky in ninth for her final event, and Anthony McCurry top 10. And uh, we got the top 20 now. Uh, Matt Duell, Matt Evans, Alex DeMarco, Cassandra Renzi, very good showing from her. Daniel Voiles, Colin Bartel, Stephen Carter, James Silverfox. And now we start the DNFs, starting with Michael Aurelio and Seth Cole. Yep, and the remaining drivers that have failed to finish, Chris Aurelio, John Cedino, Thomas Beattie, William Duncan, and Chris Washer just did not have it today. That car went off track very early. Now let's take a look at our point standing, see if there's anyone in contention for the championship. And we will answer that with a simple no. no. We have a champion crown, Adam, Adam Dunlap. Dunlap. Even with the extra driver that will be joining us next week at Dead Man's Curve, which is Kyle Corbett. They, they calculated it. Tyler, Tyler Benoit was one point away from being able to at least beat him. Then followed by Matt Duell, Matt Evans, Chris Aurelio, Colin Bartell, Michael Aurelio, Dom Caps, William Duncan, and Richard Johnson. Round up your top ten for this series. That's cold. Despite the, the hijinks today, is in 11th place. Followed by Dylan Young, Alex Tanker, Stephen Carter, Thomas Beattie, Jake Williams, Joseph Ernesto, John Cedino going down in the points. Daniel Voiles and Alex May, your top 20. Jean Lesko, Joseph Bryant, Alex DeMarco, 
Emily Michaels, Ray Davis, you know, all these names, you know, in this series has had a lot of people, a lot of switch in and outs, you know, and like that. Kevin White, Anthony McCrory, Nick Pericles, Emil Michaels, and Billy Bishop rounding up your top 30. Then we have Chris Washer who moves up a little bit. Skyler Dixon who's going to cap at 66 points. Cassandra Renzi in 33rd. Diego Ruiz in 34th. Followed by James Silverfox, Kyle Sosnowski, Aaron Williams Jr., the Russian Vladimir Petrov. Austin Ogo was in 39th place overall this season at the current moment. As uh, we take a look at 40th place, Ray Tacchia, Joshua Michaels in 41st, Jeffrey Finn guy 42nd, and the one point one Estavas Cortez in 43rd. And that ends it for this round here at the Pacific Oil Rigs. Next event, since we already have our champion, Adam Dunlap Crown, it's, it's going to be an, basically an exhibition yeah, exactly. at Dead Man's Curve, one of the most difficult tracks on the circuit. I can't wait. I can't wait, wait either. It should be a great event. I hope to see you there. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Duh, 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 duh.